What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys a quick Gears of War 5 discussion video. The reason why I say Gears of War 5 is simply because there's a few things that come to mind regarding the next installment for the story of Gears of War. If you haven't been in Gears of War 4's campaign, I highly recommend clicking off this video right now because I'm going to go into the ending and my possible thoughts on what could happen in the future of the story itself. The character that I'm a little concerned about and I wonder what's going to happen with her is Kate. She's going to be a major focus in the future story and I have a few reasons as to why. Simply at the ending of Gears of War 4 we see Reyna hooked up to those vines and they're basically using her as the center of the hive mind. And then unfortunately Kate has to put her out of her misery and then the story ends right there. The Swarm is still alive and they're going to be the major antagonist for this story going forward. But the thing that makes me wonder and feels a little concerned for Kate is the reason why they kidnapped Reyna. They obviously kidnapped Reyna because she's a descendant of Queen Mira. And they had to use her as the major focal point of the hive mind because of this. Now that Reyna is dead, who's the other person that's still related to Queen Mira? That's right. Kate so they're gonna most likely go after her after this she's gonna be the person that they're gonna try to kidnap and steal later on the thing that makes me wonder is what was the swarm trying to do with Reyna to begin with obviously she was the heart of the hive mind but was she turning into something was she gonna become something else it's really hard to say because the swarm themselves have the ability to change things into the swarm yes but it just seemed kind of weird that she's just sitting there so I don't know if she was just sitting there as basically the heart of the swarm or if she was eventually going to turn into some type of super queen swarm and if that's the case imagine how messed up it would be if Kate got kidnapped by the swarm turned into this new monster queen and then JD has to kill her that's going to be really sad and would actually be quite dramatic for the series if something like that did happen Kate Diaz is an amazing character and I personally like her a lot, but she is a descendant of Queen Mira. The thing that makes me wonder though is how are the other characters going to react to Kate being the granddaughter of Queen Mira? It's kind of hard to say, you know, the thing that makes me wonder is, is Marcus going to get mad? Is he going to get angry when he finds out that Kate is related to the woman that caused the huge war and caused the death of his best friend? You know, it's kind of hard to say. Personally, I don't think Marcus would really hold a grudge like that. But what if it turns into a thing where Kate does turn evil or she gets transformed into a swarm and then JD tries to protect her? That's going to cause a lot of friction between JD and his father because they come from different times. They come from different eras and they have a different perspective on how to deal with these monsters. I heard a few people theorizing that Kate would actually turn evil intentionally and then become one with the swarm. Personally, I don't see that happening because she loved her mother and for her to become a part of the monsters that killed her mother doesn't really make sense. I see her turning evil or turning into a swarm only if the swarm forces her, not because of her own intentions. From what it was implied, Gears of War 4 is the start of a new trilogy, so there is two more games that can cause a lot of different things to happen between the characters. You know, personalities can change, feelings can change, and the fates of the characters can go dramatically different than what you expected. The Swarm is very unpredictable, and I feel like if the story goes the way I think it will, the Swarm can actually become far worse than that of the Locust. I've said this before in previous videos, with the Locust they would just kill you. So that was a thing that was kind of simple, they were very simplistic. They would either kill you or torture you to death, but you would die. But with the Swarm, their main intention is to make more of themselves. They kidnap people, they use Snatchers. The Locust never had something comparable to the Snatchers that would kidnap people and turn them into part of their army. So this type of infection, any type of story with an infection can always always turn into something far worse you know what if by the time it's Gears of War 6 that there's no one left and it's basically JD and Marcus trying to save the world from turning into a swarm planet it's hard to say you know it's really crazy and I really hope that with Gears of War 5 we get a little more shed a light on Queen Mira her past and her connection with Reyna and Kate. There's so many unanswered questions when it comes to Queen Mira and there's just so much history with the Locust and the Swarm together and I really hope that by the time Gears of War 5 and 6 come out we finally get those answers because 
I really, really want to know the story of Queen Mira. Imagine getting like either a DLC or maybe a movie or something that just shows how the origins of the swarm came to be and how Queen Mira is connected to it. It's just really kind of interesting and I really hope for that for the future of the franchise. One thing I really hope is I hope they bring out new novels because that's just one thing I really loved about Gears of War was reading the novels and more comics because I really want to see more of the story and sometimes the games don't have enough time or the ability to explain a lot of things that the comics can or the novels can and it would definitely make for exciting and more discussion videos. A lot of things that people wonder as well, and last thing I want to talk about, is who is Reyna's father? We never got to get any information regarding that. You know, obviously, Mira had a kid with someone, so it's very possible that it can be just someone we'd never heard of because of the fact that I don't believe it's Adam Phoenix. People keep saying that, and I'm going to make a discussion video as to why in the future, but no, it's definitely not Adam. But it makes me wonder if maybe it was a scientist that worked with her or something like that from the New Hope facility. It's very open and unanswered, basically. But anyways, guys, if you guys liked this video, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe. And tell me what you guys think. Do you feel like Kate has the ability to turn evil intentionally or at the very least become the new Swarm Queen if she gets kidnapped? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.